everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Akia Morana. So if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. And today I'm gonna bring you a Lagos, Nigeria vlog. So I went to Lagos for a week and here's what I got up to. I boarded the Virgin Atlantic plane from Heathrow to Lagos. And the journey was, I tell you like, I need to fly Virgin Atlantic more. I literally had no issues, no dilemma. Like, you know, every, like we landed on time. Um, it was a bit of turbulence on the way to Nigeria. There's actually a lot of turbulence on the way to Nigeria. But um, in terms of like, you know, the staff, um, the air hostess and the host were so lovely. Um, the food was good actually, which is weird. They did like some type of jollof fusion food on the plane. And, yeah, as soon as I got off the airport, um, I called up my friend and he knew a guy that could navigate me through the airport seamlessly. So then um, I was basically in and out of the Lagos airport in under an hour, which is amazing. And my bags arrived in time. Yay. So I landed in the morning at Lagos airport and here's what happens. So. We're here taking a journey to the islands because the Airbnb is located there. And this day, I literally had appointments booked, so I was gonna wash my hair, cornrow it. Um, I was gonna do my nails. I had like, so many appointments booked, but I thought I would be able to, like, you know, go home, change, and then like, take a nap and do everything. But like, you know, it's definitely do your holiday prep before you go on holiday if you want to maximize your time out here otherwise you'll literally waste a whole day holiday prepping so we got hungry and then we had to head to kfc because that's the only thing that's open at 8 a.m around that time um so yeah the kfc was good actually the flavor of chicken is you know when you go back home to africa the kfc is always good Then we got to the nail salon straight from there. And guys, when I tell you my nails, can you see my nails? I'm gonna insert a clip of the finished look. Like this nail salon, in terms of my toes and my nails, is probably like my favorite salon that I've been to. They proper scrubbed my feet, took care of me, made sure I was good. And well, I have mercy, I had a good time. <laughs>
But after I went to do my nails and I went to the hair salon to quickly take off my old cornrows, wash my hair and then braid my hair back up again. Um, this, guys, I've got a lot of hair. I didn't realise it. Okay, I've always realised it, but I realised it more disappointment because I was watching them braid everybody else's hair and they'll only do like 10 cornrows in each person's hair. My hair has about like 15 or 16 cornrows. In order to get my hair flat, I had to put so much cornrows in. And then after that, I went home, got showered, all freshened up, and then I went to the makeup studio because it's the first day in Lagos and all of that. They do not play about when it comes to wigs and makeup. Here. My friend went first, as you can see in the clip, you'll see Debbie, she looked beautiful, got her makeup fleeky, looking nice, looking like a bad bitch, and then next stop it was me. So normally I don't like getting my makeup done by other people, but this makeup artist in particular, she legitimately got my face like perfect. I need to use her for my wedding, I need to fly her out, wherever I did my wedding, I need to fly her out, and then she needs to be my makeup artist for the wedding because it's very rare that you find a makeup artist that knows how to do dark skin makeup but she 10 out of 10 so as you can see in this clip this is me doing my makeup look at me look at the red lips and red matte lips look at the smoky eye i look like i'm about to hmm. i look like money thank you i look like money i look like you're about to buy me a dior bag that's what i look like but here's, here's me wigless because obviously I didn't get the chance to style my wig up, nothing. If I did, huh, the pictures and everything would have been bomb. Ooh, make us all done. And then afterwards, we took some pictures, got dressed, and then we went to Zaza's. Zaza's is like a place where you can go get some brunch or like you can go out in the nightlife and then they'll literally like be like people impersonating different Michael Jackson. They'll be like you know, masquerade or carnival theme. People just coming out and dancing in costumes and stuff like that. And yeah, it's just like a heavy, or good nightlife spot in Lagos now and I had some lamb chops and mashed sweet potato when I tell you guys the sweet potato was bomb it was amazing it's probably the best sweet potato I've had in a long time <laughs>
like money move. And then after Zaza and three tequila shots later, I just need to go home and knock out and rest because I legitimately did not sleep over 24 hours. But that was day one in Lagos. It did not disappoint me. Everything was just amazing. The people were friendly, like, you know, I've been treated like a princess, queen and everything. So yeah, so I'm going to give you day by day what happens in Lagos. So. Follow me, subscribe, leave a comment, and I appreciate you guys for watching. Alright, see you tomorrow guys, bye! Hmm? What meat was that? I remember I said, open this door or break this door. This is the only way to. You said I would not, I should. Let me see me that, and I know who we could see if that was not.